Hey guys, Dusty here. It's Friday. That means it's time for another ranking video. And today I will be ranking my recovery tools. We'll get right into things with a trigger point ball, which this could also be a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball for argument's sake. My opinion, a trigger point ball does one thing very, very good, and that is really pinpointing uh, where you have a specific knot and working out that area. So for me and my trigger point ball, usually on the chest when I used to do triathlon and I was swimming a lot, and now that I'm running all the time, I use my trigger point ball and my glutes all the time. And I'm going to give it a solid, I'm going to give it a B. Next up we have the Chirp RPM or the Rolling Percussive Massager. This is a pretty interesting recovery tool. You could think of this as a spinning foam roller. You can either use it while it's on the floor in its base or you can pick it up and hold it. It has a bunch of different speeds. I really like using it on my calves, but it also works well on the hamstrings and quads. Uh, my wife a few months ago was training for a 10k and this was easily her favorite recovery tool. This would probably be a little bit higher up on my list if it wasn't as heavy and maybe a little bit easier to travel with. Um, I'm I'd probably going to give it a B plus between a B and an A. Next up we have a massage gun. Uh, massage guns are everywhere these days and they're relatively inexpensive compared to a decade ago. They're great, they're easy to travel with, um, they come with a bunch of different attachments. My massage gun at home is the Bob and Brad massage gun and I'm going to rank it an A. Alright, next up we have a basic foam roller. This one specifically is a trigger point foam roller. Uh, this was one of the very first recovery tools I ever picked up. And to be honest, these are inexpensive and they get 99% of the job done. And yes, they're not going to be as good in cer certain areas as some of these other recovery tools. But a basic foam roller is something that every runner or athlete should have. And you know what? I'm going to give this S tier because it's honestly something you all should have. Next up is a rumble roller foam roller. Um, so very similar to like your trigger point foam roller, except this one has knobs on it. So first of all, it's way more intense than a regular foam roller. Um, comes in blue and black, and I believe the black is higher density, so it digs in even deeper. Not something I use all the time. However, I will say this rumble roller is fantastic on the hamstrings, whereas something like a trigger point foam roller is lacking when it comes to the hamstrings. So not something I use all the time, uh, but for hamstrings it's great. I'm going to rank a rumble roller uh, as a B. Alright, next up is my favorite recovery tool. That is the double up roller. So this thing comes with a few different attachments. Uh, it's a big steel frame. It's heavy. Uh, it's probably not ideal to travel with, but the deepness or intensity that I can get into my muscles using this double up roller is unlike any other recovery tool I've ever used. It probably gets the closest to having an actual massage. And even though it's not exactly travel friendly, I'm still going to rank it an S as I totally love it. And if I had to have something other than a foam roller, it would be a double up roller. Next up we have toe spreaders. Uh, this is obviously going to be pretty low on the list. I believe mine at home are the Joy Toes and essentially they're just um, silicone toe spreaders. They go in between your toes, help stretch things out. Uh, and actually a few weeks ago I really had to use them. I got back from a long run and my toes were super super achy. Threw the toe spreaders on for a few minutes and my toes felt fantastic afterwards. Overall though they can't be too high. I'm gonna rank them. I'm gonna give them a D. Alright next up is massage. Uh, yeah massage is gonna be fantastic. It is however extremely expensive especially if you want to get a massage every week. But if you can find the right massage therapist uh, shout out to my massage therapist, Kate, if you're on uh, Vancouver Island and in the Couch Valley, she's fantastic. Yeah, just because of the price, not accessible all the time, I'm going to give massage a C. And I'm not even sure it belongs in this list as it's not exactly a recovery tool. And last up we have some Norma Tech boots. Uh, I don't own them, but I have used them a bunch in the past. Again, they are very expensive. They do a decent job. You can just put, put the boots on, relax on the couch, be lazy, and let them go to work. However, at the end of the day, they aren't going to be getting out those knots like so many of these other tools do. So, Norma Tech boots, um, they gotta be higher than toe spreaders. I'm gonna give them a B. All right, and that's gonna be it. Uh, so my top recovery tools are the trigger point foam roller and the double up roller. I think those 
two recovery tools uh, go a very long way for me personally. Another thing I have been getting into a little bit this year, it wasn't on my list, but that's uh, muscle scraping. And let me know down below in the comments what recovery tools you like, which ones you maybe don't like so much. And uh, like always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.